Hello, welcome to episode 8 of my Greek challenge campaign. Um, this time I think we will have a decisive battle against the Julii, but I prepared an yes, all cavalry man. army. Truly my elite units, sort of. Um, so it's gonna be a decisive battle one way or another. Um, also, Trace is trying to attack us, but um, I'm not gonna let them. So, I'm gonna see if I sell it out. I do get my reinforcements already. Um, so I think I want to do this right away. Kick their ass. No need to wait. Huh? Let me see. Or I can wait for this guy. No, he's gonna take two turns to get there. I don't want to wait for that. Their army doesn't look very strong. Mostly Peltasts, a few militia cavalry, and then this militia cavalry as well. Yeah, Hoplites, Falksmen. Yeah, it doesn't look very strong. They don't have a general, so. I think I should be able to to write them down relatively easily. So let's just get rid of these guys now, and then that should free us up to recruit some units, and then maybe go invade Trace. I was planning to invade them anyway, but since they're attacking me, um, that just makes the decision even easier. The only issue I have with invading Trace is that I risk getting in contact with Scythia and I'm really not interested in fighting Scythia. So are these guys just gonna run away or are they gonna stay and fight? That's the question. There's a good chance they're just gonna leave or they're just gonna stand there in, in one spot and wait for me. Yeah, they're gonna wait over there. It's it's the thing the AI does, they just wait in, in that particular spot. Um so let's have a look. So my art is gonna be useful I think. Especially on fire at will, and then my cavalry is gonna do the main fighting. So I'm gonna keep my melee guy, my melee cavalry in one group. Um, maybe I wanna keep them outside, and then my militia cavalry in another group, like so. And let's speed up things because it's gonna take me a while to get there. Just gonna pause the video until they arrive. Okay, so my troops are arriving outside the gate. So my archers are gonna be nice, I think. Uh, let's keep my Peltists off skirmish mode and I'm also gonna go put them outside. It's a bit of a risk to have nobody inside. I think I want to have more men. They don't have a lot of cavalry to really endanger my infantry, so... If they try to charge me, I can just run away, basically. I think I want to move a bit uh, north over here to take some height advantage. Don't want to be fighting this battle uphill. So let's actually start moving. And speed up a little. <clears throat> also the further I move here the, the easier it will be to intercept uh, routing enemies. Would be nice if I can wipe them out completely. So let's have a look. So we have some cavalry over there. I think the key will be to take out their cavalry first and then uh, try to pick apart the infantry one by one by my own cavalry. So my infantry is a bit slower, of course. Yeah, let's just keep moving. I think we're almost gonna get within range of my archers. Damn, that's a lot of enemies. They have a really wide line, so it's a bit uh, kind of intimidating, I suppose, but not really. So 
there's the Falksman, uh, Militia Cavalry, more Militia Cavalry, and more Militia Cavalry. So all their Cavalry is just Militia Cavalry, so I don't really have to fear a Cavalry charge into my units, uh, especially not uphill. So that's good. Let's see, are you guys within range already? Then those hoplites are very low morale. The falcsmen are gonna be a bit stronger actually, but should still be manageable. I think... Let's try to move some more cavalry to, my, to the left flank. I think taking the height advantage will be very useful. So those are Peltasts, so those guys should be easy to run down actually. Let's try that. I'm gonna make a move on the left flank now. But they're already getting peppered by the by my javelins from the militia cavalry, so they're not gonna like that too much. I'm gonna try to run down their militia cavalry first, and their peltasts as well. And my archers should start firing soon, I think. It's a broke the first unit. Let's try to run down the rest of the army here. And we gotta make sure uh, that these guys are cowards anyway. They're just gonna break or something. So I think my uh, infantry can sort of hold their own. And now I gotta be careful for those hoplites. So this is a pretty big blob. And yeah, my guys are breaking, unfortunately. That's uh, what happens sometimes. Where is my general? Why can't I use the rally ability? Yeah, I want to move back a little with my cavalry here and keep them together. Come on, guys, what the hell? Now my general is breaking. Did he die or something? Oh, he can't rally, can't use the rally ability because he's, um... He's not my commanding general. Now he's fighting to death. Oh, this is bad. He's gonna die. This guy is gonna die, so I'm gonna regroup a little. Somehow he survived, but it's not looking too good. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, where are these three guys? They're over there. Okay, I'm gonna try to regroup here. Let's try to take on these guys. They're eager, however. Ah, no, they're just gonna break. So my militia cavalry is being a bunch of cowards as usual. Now we got the enemy general. Really, guys? What the hell? But hey, at least my infantry is holding up reasonably well. I'm just really not used to these low morale. Oops. It's so annoying. So let's charge these peltasts downhill. That should break them. Actually, I'm gonna charge downhill with my own peltasts as well. I think the right flank is weak now. So they're not breaking for some reason, that's annoying. Ah, now they are. Okay. Let's take on the next spell tests. Just break these guys. Gotta stay away from the phalanx. It's uh, dangerous. Oh, they're wavering. Good. Then I'm gonna attack the, the phalanx with my spell tests. And get these guys to strike in the back. So now they're turning my back on me. Good. So let's charge downhill and that should break. Yeah, yeah. Now they're all gonna break. 
gonna send in some more Peltists as well and mop up with these guys. And that way we should win this battle completely. Yeah, let's make sure those guys don't get away actually. So where's my channel gone? Okay, he's all the way back in the town square. Maybe it's best that he stays there. So he doesn't die. Okay, what's going on here? So they basically finished. There's just a few stragglers behind. So I think that's like the last unit or something. So I'm gonna ask my archers to engage those. Some of these are coming back, but they're gonna break instantly. So that's fine. How many did we kill already? 86. So I think that should be enough to get rid of this tech entirely. And all in all, um, not a bit. Oh, those are Peltists. I need to get some um, cavalry on those guys or I'm never gonna catch up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in time to catch them. But it's worth a try. So let's intersect those Peltists. And those should be the last ones that I uh, need to kill. And how many men did we lose? 9%. Okay, so I thought it was more dramatic at, uh, at a certain point, but turns out we didn't lose that many. Because we had so many guys routing and my general was, uh, was in a lot of danger at one point, I thought, like, hmm. I thought things were going wrong. But... 9% is really acceptable in my opinion. So I'm just gonna charge these Peltists and they should break instantly. <clears throat> and let's just finish off those guys. And that's the end of this battle. So I'm not sure how much Trace has left after this. They, they should have some generals still because they didn't have general here. Um... Let's try to catch those guys, but they're gonna get away probably. Okay. So actually, we only lost uh, like 200 men, so that's quite okay. Um, didn't gain much experience, unfortunately. So all in all, not a bad battle. But uh, I keep getting surprised at how fragile militia cavalry is. They just, they break so easily Sir. in situations where I really don't expect them to break. Um, so let's merge a few guys. Sir. And then send in these two for retraining. Leaving the army. Onward. In next Out turn, I suppose. My Lord. Um, so no good mercenaries available, unfortunately. I'm gonna retrain my Peltists and recruit some more. I think the Peltists actually did surprisingly well at holding a hill. I think if they have the height advantage, they're pretty good actually. Um, also gives them a range bonus on their uh, on their spears, uh, on their javelins I mean. So if they can hold a steep hill, they, they can do pretty well. Ah, so now I can retrain this guy, but not really sure if it's worth it. Okay, um, I think that is all for this turn. Let's just have a look at my agents, and then we should be done. Yes, my lord. Ah, there it is, new media. Let's get trade rights. Let's sell you map information. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Maybe next time. Ooh, and there's Carthage. So let's talk to this guy from Carthage once again. Ask for a ceasefire and uh, offer you some money. Yeah, no. Yeah, they just hate me. I mean, I totally get it, but it's still a bit annoying. And I really want to talk to Citia. Yes, my lord. I want to make sure the Scythians 
Nah, maybe next turn. I don't want to get into a war with Sitia because they're really annoying with all the horse archers. Ooh, that doesn't look good. What's going on here? Oh my god, no. Ooh. Since when is the Senate so active? Oh, that's uh, that's really bad news. Uh, so the reinforcements. Yeah, this guy is also shouldn't underestimate him. Forty-five generals, uh, bodyguard, really strong. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try to withdraw and see if I can. Maybe I will end up at this fort and then I like my odds a bit better. But this is just not not a, a winnable battle in my opinion. Because my infantry is really gonna be fragile with all this Roman cavalry. I'm, even my cavalry can't really defeat these generals. Um, yeah, they're gonna attack me again, aren't they? Yeah. Aha, but now we get reinforcements. That's interesting. Um, but because you can only control uh, one full stack at a time, so like 20 units. Oh my god, I don't know what to do about this. Um, I have to think about this. Like, if I want to control them, then I'm not going to get those units unless we can get below 20, which is not going to happen. Uh, Dionysus. Dionysus of Sparta. Can I have a look at you? I would like to know what's in this army. Yeah, I know where he is. I want to know what's in his army. I think this is my all cavalry army, actually. Um, but the thing is, I cannot withdraw these guys. Probably. They're not going to be able to withdraw... <laughs> Um, and I don't want to give my AI all my generals because there's like six generals in that other army, I think. So if I want to actually have them in battle, I have to allow this army to be controlled by the AI. Which is a huge risk. It's, it's just insanely risky. I think I just want to auto-resolve this. I'm going to lose some men, but at least I'm not going to get annihilated. If I fight this, it's going to be a disaster, I think, because I control the weak army, but much rather control this army and then have the AI do whatever they want with this army. But I think he's the guy with like uh, six generals in one army. I cannot trust the AI to, to run that properly. Uh, yeah. Okay, we lost a lot of men, but at least we survived, so... Oh, damn it. <sighs> this shit again. Captain... Uh, two captains, really? And that's a pretty weak army, actually. You know what? I'm gonna try to fight this. Um, so this is my army. I think the reinforcements are gonna come from the northeast. Let's fight this on a battle map. It's a bit sad that I just lost a thousand men in another resolve, but at least I didn't lose my generals. Okay, uh, what did I say? North. West, uh, that's that's not a very high command. If I can run up to this hill, I should have a better position. Your reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, so my reinforcements will have to run over here as soon as possible. Where are the Julii? Over there? Okay. I'm gonna get these guys over here as soon as I can. Do have some ballistas, that's gonna be interesting. I'm not really used to using these guys in battle. And I have these uh, mercenary belters, which are not bad, I think. But it's gonna be my main line. Okay, 
I'm gonna use fire arrows on my archers. Come on guys, what's taking them to get here? So as soon as I control everyone I'm just gonna send them over. Uh, I'm gonna send these guys over already. Taking their sweet time to arrive. Uh, maybe I should go to that corner. I don't know. I'm gonna move a little over here, just so I can quickly join my armies because I need to stick together here. If I get separated, it's gonna be game over. It's still a pretty good height advantage, I think. It's even better if I put everybody over here, actually. So, let's put my main guys over here. My art is right behind. And I have these peltas, which I have to be kind of careful with, because my captain is in that group. And then I have my cavalry, which is gonna play an important role. But I'll try to snipe their general with my cavalry. And then my ballistas, which... They're gonna be useless, I think. They can't run, they're just so slow. Took a long time just getting into the battlefield. I don't think my ballistas are gonna do much for me here. Uh, so where is the general actually? Velites, Velites, so that's the general. Uh, and that's the light cavalry. Um, the height advantage is on the left side, so I think I want to swing my cavalry over to the left side, uh, start panicking, panicking the Velites, and hopefully take out the general. I think that's the, the best way to go about this. Let's make sure skirmish mode is disabled actually. No, oh, they're going right, right and they're going straight. They're just going for the kill. They're not gonna give me any time to... Oh my god. Oh, what a slaughter. <laughs> That's uh, just a complete slaughter there. We are kind of hurting their back rank with they are slaughtering my infantry. Come on, my cavalry needs to stay together here if I want a chance. They do this thing where they like just attack random stuff instead of listening to me. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this battle. Come on guys, get over here. Yeah, of course he is. He yeah. runs. So will his army stand when he shows such courage? It's just to draw these ballistas before they get killed as well. Come on guys, get over here. Get over here. Finish off this Hostati. Please, please, just kill them. Yeah, no, I'm just losing. Just losing, no chance. Just withdraw my archers as well. Yeah, no. This is hopeless. Just withdraw everybody. Did he at least kill some Romans? Oh no, these guys should lead as well. Ah, we had quite a few kills actually. I can't be too unhappy about this. Oh, but these, these Romans are putting up a serious fight. I don't know about this. Like, they really hurt me this turn. So, about Capua. 
What can I do here? I need one more turn to complete my archers. We do have some uh, reinforcements yes, over here, close. luckily. I don't know about Greek cavalry, they also perform pretty bad. Uh, just don't really have any good troops. Where did my generals go? What so there they are. So these are all my generals. Um, my lord? Yes, so let's send in some reinforcements over there. Sir, <clears throat> yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. Just Orders. not a good turn Orders. for me. I lost a lot of troops here and. It kind of hurt the Romans, but not really. Uh, I need to have a battle against Rome with. Well, I'm controlling this army. That's gonna be the key. Um, Sir. Problem Sir. is. Um, you know, all my, all my generals got wounded in the last battle, so they're, they're not at full strength. Yes, Stratigos! Um. We still have some population to spend because I'm actually worried about running out of population to to just retrain my troops. Um, but we still have, I, I think, 400 is the minimum population, so we can still retrain like 2,000 guys. So you can retrain a full stack if you have to. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look here. Merge these guys. Get this one retrained. And then, yeah, to this guy. Merge these guys, get this one retrained, and yes, replace them by a new guy. My lord. Who else can I merge? These two. My lord. Retrain this one. Yeah, I think I, I have to retrain. I was considering merging, yes, but I'm. The rate I'm losing troops, I really need uh, everything I can get. Mm, merge Orders. these guys. We can't do that, sir. Leaving the army. Ah, okay, March. wait. Gotta send a new one in first. Sir. Like so. March. Orders. My lord. Yes, strategy. So get this one inside. We train as well. Yes, I still have a spot, so who should he put in there? So it, yes, this is a full Stratigos. cavalry army, so I don't need any infantry to slow them down. Orders. I'm gonna add this Orders. guy. Then I think I'm gonna merge some cavalry. Sir. I don't know. I can still add more. But these guys I cannot merge um, and still have men left. Right, so Sir. this one has to get Living retrained. Um, yeah, what choice do you have, really? So I'm gonna merge some of these militia cavalry. It kind of hurts, but it has to be done, I think. Yeah, let's just do it. So then we lose one permanently, but and then we can retrain this guy. I think that should give us two spots. Three spots, actually. My lord? Yes, do we still have horse. something here? Oh yeah, we do. Orders. So let's merge these guys. My lord? Orders. And a sentiment for retraining. It's crazy, just the retraining queue is almost full. So I think that's like 10 guys just all needing to be retrained. So many wounded units. Sir. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. Ah, Samnite mercenaries. That's interesting. So I want these guys, but not in this army. But maybe I can get some over here. No, I can't. Yes, Is it because oh, I'm in a fort? Aha, uh -huh. let's get the Samnites um, over here, actually. Those are going to come in really good handy. Um... I think I'm gonna have to merge my archers. I just cannot afford to wait uh, for this to finish and then send them back and forth. 
So as much as it hurts, I'm gonna just merge these archers, unfortunately. I just really need them right now. I cannot wait for them to, to get retrained. Uh, merge those spell dusts. Uh, these slingers are just a waste of a spot now. So I'm, yeah. I'm gonna keep them just in case. Uh, spell dusts, they're not really that important, so I'm yes, gonna merge them a little. Maybe get these guys retrained if they can get there. And then merge yes, some of these guys. Orders. These guys. These guys. Sir. Like so. And get them trained as well. Onward. No more moves, sir. My lord, move yeah, out. It's absolute slaughter in Rome. Is... Yeah, in Italy, I mean. Um, can I take on this army? I think I have to strike them right yes, now. Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. Sir. Leaving the army. I think it's my best chance to, to actually defeat him. Sir, move out. My retreating queue is just yes, full. Stratigos. It's ridiculous. Orders. Yes, Stratigos. It would be nice to get my ballista in there so I can take Capua in one turn, but it's too slow to get there actually. Yes, Stratigos. And I think these Romans are also kind of blocking the way. Sir, um. So let's get one more unit of militia cavalry in there. And then this is gonna be a decisive battle against the Chulii. Are you kidding me? Really? Out of move. What the hell? Oh, this is so ridiculous. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I just hate it when it happens. Sir! Let's just merge this sorry bunch. I <laughs> hope they don't get attacked by the Romans. Yes, Stratigos. Yeah. Yes, Stratigos. Orders. Yeah. If yes, Stratigos. Feeling pretty vulnerable here, but uh, not much I can do about it. Let's increase the text a little. And here as well. Ready to sail. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have to send in some reinforcements from the mainland anyway. Um, Move out. I think we have our army for Trace ready pretty much. So I'm gonna send in some more troops through Apollonia. It's just an absolute meat grinder in Rome. I just need more... More cannon fodder as I call it. Okay, it's just necessary. So archers are gonna do well. Free cavalry doesn't really do well. Militia cavalry not either, but just need a lot of them and then maybe one day we will break through. And yeah, the Romans are putting up a serious fight. Yes, okay, so we have these guys. Uh, so I think I wanna move on Trace. Should I go this way or south? If I go south I might also get this settlement first, but I I'm gonna go south first, I think. Move out. My lord. Orders. My These lord. guys are all out of moves. Yes, so I'm not gonna attack this army, um, because maybe Trace will fight them for me. So let's just uh, wait here for now. Maybe I can... Let, let's just wait here and hope Trace fights with the rebels and then I can fight Trace afterwards. Yes, and I... Probably want to add some more Peltasts to the mix. Yes, Orders. And then I will recruit some more Peltasts over here. Um, Orders. Orders. My lord. So these guys Forward. need to be retrained. My lord. And then this yes, guy Stratigos. I could either send into Italy or merge. Uh, I'm gonna send him here since he's so close already anyway. And then we are recruiting some more cavalry yes, over there. So these guys I'm gonna send Orders. towards Italy. Moves depleted, sir. Ready to sail. And I'm gonna retrain yes, these boats. Maybe recruit some extra. Okay. 
I'm actually kind of considering um, producing some troops in Sicily. Like, not that hard to hop over, yes, actually. Captain. Oh, I think I will do that. That will uh, give me some more freedom to keep some troops from my mainland to fight against Trace or maybe Dacia. So I think I just need more troops. It's gonna be... Yeah, it's gonna be all costly battles because my units are so shit. So might as well just uh, produce wherever I can. Uh, Syracuse expense. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's build this. Um, just gonna quickly check my production. And we are kind of low on money. So that's a bit concerning. Normally I always have infinite money. Uh, I guess not. Let's get the sewers. I think maybe my navy is getting a bit too costly. Also, all the retraining isn't doing me well. Doesn't help. Oh, I need the ship right. It's gonna be bring in a lot of money. So let's uh, cancel the boats and let's actually not retrain them either. Then I can get a ship right here, which is which is gonna bring in a lot of money. Then land clearance here would be. Actually, kind of risky. Don't need it. It's gonna uh, make my population growth way too high. Um, so then we are out of money, basically. Um, still have this diplomat. So let's start the Carthage again. Ask for a siege fire. Come on, guys. Please just. Yeah, no. I could really use an end of the war against Carthage. I think it would also potentially bring in some trade. That's a Germanic diplomat. Where are this city? I think they have like a settlement over yes, here, maybe. Lord. Ah, there they are. I shall speak with them at once. Oh, we still have trade rights, so let's try. Yeah, they don't want an alliance, but uh, we already have trade rights and probably sold enough information and whatever. So that's good. Uh, we have this diplomat. Ah, we have a spy over here. In Tarentum, so I'm good. So, where do we need information? Do we already know these guys? We have a pretty good ID. The Romans as well. Do we have a better look now? Ah, yeah, we do. So, this army doesn't look that dangerous, but it's a shame that we, we couldn't reach them this turn. I think we could have easily defeated them with my all cavalry army. Now, the Romans are. Yes. The Senate army is a bit more concerning. Yeah, these guys. They're not really wounded at all, so. That's gonna be a problem. Yes, I bet they're gonna come in again. Orders. Yeah. Orders, sir. Kind of vulnerable. I think the main yes, thing I have to do is keep my generals alive. I have one here, uh, four yes, generals sir. here. Yes, I thought I had more yes. actually. Hmm. If we have any extra generals, I should definitely send them to Italy. We are producing everywhere, so I think this is the end of this turn. Leaving the army. Leaving the army. Leaving the army. Leaving the army. Yeah, the Judy I are taking me where I'm weak. I just can't army. really do anything about it. This is just They actually say it's a fair fight, so I'm tempted to just out -rizzle. Ah, yeah, because of the city is gonna come in and help. Huh. Do I want to out-resolve this or just run away? I'm gonna run away, I don't really need this. Oh no, there's another Julii stack incoming. Oh my god. They're so strong. It's ridiculous. Okay. 
Um, ah, this Senate army is so scary. Sir! Ah, but finally we can make arches here. That's good. I think massive uh, waves of arches can do really well. Um, paved roads would be nice here. Mines as well. I think the roads are going to be best for now. I might actually bring in a lot of trade, so you can check this here. Here you see the trade I'm currently getting, and there it is with roads upgraded. So it's not that much per turn, but it should be useful for troop movement. Though I already need money. We can see the mines, so... Mining, we get 200. We don't get any extra trade, unfortunately. And slightly more corruption with the mines, but not enough to offset the, the difference. I think I'm gonna go for the mines because money is becoming sort of a concern. Okay, so the rebels did not attack me or the or the army from Trace. So I'm gonna push into Trace. And I actually want to fight this, so they're gonna get squished. For sure, they don't have a general, they only have one unit of militia cavalry, so they really don't stand a chance. I expected them to run away, but fine with me. And I'm gonna take the, the rebel settlement first. It just gives me a nice buff to go north, else uh, I have to go back and take it and it's uh, kind of a waste of time. Uh, so I think they're gonna be on that hill in the distance. I'm gonna move a bit closer to take the high ground as well. Like so. And indeed they are on that hill. <clears throat> yeah, let's speed it up a little. While we maneuver in place. I can't really take the high ground from them, but I can make it an even fight. I'm gonna slow down a little so I don't mess up anything. I think they're running away, so let's quickly go in before they get a chance to all retreat. Yeah, they're gonna run away. I mean, they're gonna try to run away at least. I'm gonna get these guys in the back. is just running away here. as well because I'm really shooting at my own men a lot as well but yeah so how many did we kill almost Ready. half this is a victory fit for the gods a day of triumph to mark with a song or two didn't really lose that many men and we killed quite a few so not a big battle but uh, needs to happen my lord move out out of move aha Ooh, Bastarne. These guys are awesome. They're a bit expensive to buy, but the upkeep is quite okay. Uh, Thracian mercenaries, they're, they're not that great. But it's also better than any infantry I have. So I'm tempted to get all these guys. I'm definitely gonna get the Bastarne. Um, 
even if it's just so Trace right cannot get them. I'm yes, considering General. sending these guys, uh, the Illyrians, to Rome, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna send them to Rome. They're gonna... They can sort of handle Hestati for a short while before they break. While um, Trace doesn't really have anything that that's nearly as dangerous as uh, as the Romans. So I'm gonna set some of these guys to Rome. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. <clears throat> um, yeah, we are running out of money actually. So I think um, I'm gonna have to build some economic buildings to keep up. So I'm not gonna build anything here. I mean, blacksmith would be okay, but uh, not really necessary at the moment. Uh, what do I want here? I think the shipwright is gonna be really good. But let's have a look again. So here you can see like trade, we get 609 per turn now. And with that we get 856. So that's uh, over 200 per turn. We do get a bit more corruption, but still over 200 per turn. So this is basically... This is better than the mines. Especially the mines plus one. Like the mine plus one just gives me... Uh, actually gives me more than 150. Gives me 225 per turn extra. Not that much more corruption. So, as you can see, it says you, you get uh, 250 per turn, but actually it's a bit higher, and I think it's because some of the resources or whatever. It's, uh, so, I'll always check. It's actually, I get uh, 525 per turn if I build these instead of 300 per uh, 350 per turn. I'm already getting 300 as is, so it, it kind of depends on what resources you have available. So I think it's because of the gold mine or whatever, uh, it makes a difference. So always check, but I'm gonna go for the ship, right? It's gonna be amazing. And also I think it might give uh, my other settlements uh, more things to trade with. So it doesn't really, it doesn't only affect uh, this settlement itself, but also the other settlements that trade with it. So. Having lots of forts is uh, really good for the economy. Um, don't want any of these buildings here. Uh, maybe I want the farm. Definitely don't want the Temple of Aphrodite. Trader is actually pretty bad. So what's the difference? Ah, it's pretty good here. Normally Trader is terrible because, but because this settlement is so much straight. It actually gives me 300 extra per turn. That's insane. Usually traders aren't worth it, but this settlement is just getting an insane amount of trade. It's crazy. So I'm also considering uh, tearing down this temple and uh, replacing it by the trade income temple. I think that should give me a lot of money here in Athens. I'm definitely going to do that later on. Uh, kind of want the land clearance because it gives me a lot of money as well, normally. Um... So farming goes from 565 to 600, so yeah, not that impressive, but uh, it's still, it turns itself back in like 10 turns. Uh, now Numidia is coming for me, what the hell is going on here? Numidia, really? I was expecting Carthage, not these guys. That's ridiculous. Why? Why would they even try this? My lord. You bastards. Really? Fucking Numidia. That's that's so stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've seen in a while. So these artists are retraining and I'm making some new ones. I am running out of money, but uh, so I cannot retrain these guys for upgrades, I don't have the money for it. But I can make some new ones. Um Let's have a look. So these guys need to destroy the Julii next turn. Or the Senate. So if I like shuffle my units around. Oh my god, and there's another Roman army incoming. <laughs> I'm so screwed. 
Yeah, I know. And I don't really know how to deal with all of this. So I'm going to think about it a little while. And I will deal with these moments next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time.